Let's make a move. Let's make a move. Welcome into the show. It's gonna be a good day today. Nothing moves until you do, right? Objects at rest, stay at rest. Objects in motion, stay in motion. So we've got to get you to move. Otherwise, nothing changes if nothing changes. But once you get that momentum, if I can get you sliding the right direction, a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, progress will come. Take the next step, take the next step. Don't think about how far you have to go all the way on the journey. All this weight's gotta come off. All these hormones gotta be fixed. All this medication's gotta overcome. All this inflammation in my body where you might be two years from now. Just what do we need to do to take the next step today? Estrogen deficiency. If you are struggling with menopause, this is more than likely the cause of it. Hot flashes, if you're dealing with night sweats, vaginal dryness, skin issues, deficiency in estrogen, the fall off of estrogen may very well be the cause of it. Now it is possible to still be estrogen dominant and have menopausal symptoms. I will explain that in this video as well. Let's break this thing down. So if you have these issues right here, let me give you a little oversight. These are the common ones. Men, estrogen is incredibly important in your body. If you get too much of it, you are asking for prostate issues and urinary dysfunction, let alone ED. So women though, with this deficient in estrogen, this is commonly what's causing a lot of the issues when it comes to menopause. Estrogen dominance with low progesterone, that can create menopause issues. It's the low progesterone that can create the problems. Okay, so it's a relative estrogen dominance. It's actually low estrogen, but progesterone is so low that it creates a problem. And so I've covered this in other videos, but if your progesterone is really low, right? So that's the green line here. Estrogen, right, is low as well. But the main issue here is there's such a gap between estrogen and progesterone. Progesterone is the cause of the problem. So this is a case of sort of a pseudo estrogen dominance. The dominance meaning not that your estrogen is really high. Your estrogen is in fact deficient compared to where it used to be. And that's why you're having menopausal symptoms. But your progesterone is also really low. And that's the one that's got to come up because if you can level these two out, you won't have so much symptomatology. So let's talk about relative estrogen dominance that is part of estrogen deficiency first, and then we can slide into regular straight up estrogen deficiency. With this, we're focusing on raising the green line, which is progesterone. Zinc and magnesium are precursors to this hormone. Fiber helps to balance it out and helps to produce progesterone. Chia, quinoa, veggies, very good. B is incredibly important to increase the progesterone. L-arginine, the amino acid. So those two right there, decreasing risk of miscarriages. Vitamin C. In fact, women who take vitamin C have significantly increased levels of progesterone in their systems. If they take more than 750 milligrams, it's an increase of 77%. That is such a simple thing you could be putting in. Take yourself from vitamin C, get yourself from some amino acids. My favorite are collagen. There is 840 milligrams inside of our collagen protein. B6 is also in there. You could take a good B vitamin or a multivitamin. Getting those in, very simple. And then also a multivitamin is gonna give you zinc and magnesium. So it's clean eating, increasing progesterone. You can use a cream, okay? You just are playing with a little bit of fire, right? Now you're putting actual hormone in the body. So I always try to go this route of foods and nutrients first before I just resort to a cream or some kind of hormone replacement. Because you're putting in something synthetic imbalance as opposed to your body creating it and fixing the deficiencies that got you there in the first place. And I think that's probably why you're watching this. So we wanna increase the green line. Now, estrogen deficiency straight up with these symptoms, what do we do for this? Well, here you go, women. So the challenge plan, keeping sugar down, decreasing what I call insulin dominance, very important, exercising the 10 minute workouts that we teach, lower carbohydrate eating, and eventually getting to rotational fasting is what lowers that insulin dominance. That's what messes up estrogen. Now, the tests you can look at, you can do a Dutch test. It's a hormone test to tell you how much progesterone and estrogen that you have. It's the most accurate way to do it. I would look at your liver enzymes to make sure that's not toxic. You can check out the liver training below to get more information on that. Check ferritin, vitamin D is a precursor to the progesterone and the estrogen. So I'd be looking at those, okay? Now, what else can we be doing to attack this? Estrogen deficiency, okay? So I talked about the challenge eating plan. So take a peek at that. 10 minute workouts, pelvic floor exercises. Things become weak in this area. So in the guide, in the training on this, breaking it down, we give you step-by-steps on what it can be doing for pelvic floor exercises. Estrogen boosting smoothie, what's that? Well, it's when you're taking things like the flax seeds, like the chia seeds, coconut oil, almonds. You could do non-GMO soy milk if you wanted to. The collagen, the arginine, it has the vitamin C in it, it has the magnesium, it has the zinc. You could add a little maca root. You could add hormone support. You could add sesame seeds. 
and it helps with this deficiency. Methylated B vitamins are very important to detoxing the liver and supporting the production of these hormones. Vitamin D is the precursor. Black cohosh has a lot of solid research at fighting this off. It relieves menopausal symptoms by 26%. Chastberry supports menopause and abnormal periods. I have family members that struggle with this. This one's been a game changer for them. Abnormal periods, if you're struggling with that regularity, chastberry is a really good one to put in. And then finally, DHEA, which is a precursor to it. Go make it a great day, peeps. You might as well. You're never gonna get this one back.